listen to what he talks about. The CEO talks about hiring people. Uh, yes, I mean, when I started the business, one of the things you'll find, there are other sub-operators out there, but they, they typically um, have uh, gentlemen who are ex-military submariners, and they you'll see a whole bunch of 50-year-old white guys. That's some quick turnaround. When this stupid submarine story first hit the news cycle, all of these lefty tards were celebrating it. And they're like, laws, take that, billionaires, joyriding to the bottom of the sea so they can see a underwater graveyard. Think of all the blink people they could save with that money. Ree, ree. And then it turned out, that this stupid fucking corporation over here was run by a woke tard, and now they all want to shut the hell up about it. No, 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 no. We are going to mock and meme this into the reality because this is a microcosm of what's happening to our society and our civilization. Woke numbnuts are driving us off a cliff. I hope that everybody is found alive in this tin can. I hope they rescue these people. I hope they get them back up to the surface. And then I hope the billionaire that's on that stupid fucking dildo-shaped boat, boat marine, submarine, I hope he ends up owning Ocean Gate and then melting it down into a statue of testosterone and masculinity as a way to fight back against this woke nonsense. They almost killed you, dope. They almost killed you. Gateway Pundit over here, update audio released of sounds heard every 30 minutes during Ocean, Ocean Gate search. Company owner who values diversity over experience is on the submarine. I hope, <laughs> I was going to make some sort of joke over here, but that might get me arrested. Anyhow, <laughs> this dumb ass clown over here, he did one of these conference calls, he did one of these stupid, hey, come down. Come joy right to the bottom of the sea with us. Advertisements on a podcast. And he was talking about how I super duper care this so much about the underwater experience. But I don't want old white dudes working on my submarines. I want a rainbow submarine with a Black Lives Matter sticker on the side of it. Now, I'm indulging a little bit. But no, that's what he said. <laughs> Do they have the actual quote over here? It's hilarious. This is the Brie Larson of underwater tourism. This wasn't made for you. Here's what he said. Here's what he, this, is, this is an insane thing to say. As a person who's taking people underwater in a stupid fucking boat. I keep saying boat. There's going to be a whole bunch of Navy dudes who are like, You son of a bitch, stop calling that a boat. It's a dirgeable. Here you got, uh, quote, When I started the business, other thub operators were out there, and they typically had gentlemen who were ex-military submariners. A whole bunch of 50-year-old white guys. He said He said this three years ago. Why would you remotely bring that up? Why in the hell would you sit there and say, hmm, it's a very complicated situation over here. We're going to put together a submarine. We're going to go to the depths of the ocean. There's a whole lot of buoyancy, electronic... There's an oxygen situation. There's a whole lot of very complicated situations necessary to work in a nice orchestral fashion for us to, oh, I don't know, stay the fuck alive. Let's hire black people. <laughs> let's hire black people. Now, somebody said they go that racist. Well, let's hire, let's, I want, I need, I need 80% of the hires to be black. I need 20% of the hires to be lesbian. That, why would you hire based off of characteristics that aren't going to help you in this situation? Because it's all virtue signaling. It's all virtue signaling. He wants more of that ESG capital. He wants more of the stupid fucking platitudes. He wants Kotaku to write articles about him. So he's going to say, Oh my god, the, the, we don't want any of those fucking 50-year-old white dudes. We're going we're, we're gonna to go out there and hire based off the fifis. You got pronouns in your resume, then you're hired. That's dumb. Now, if you could find a whole bunch of people with the technical expertise necessary to get you to the bottom of the fucking ocean in this tin can and they have pronouns in their, their resume, okay, that's fine. But it's because of the track record of success that they have. It's because of the technical accolades. It's, it's, it's because of their ability to pull off going down to the bottom of the fucking sea. Not, not their skin color, their sexual orientation, but 
that doesn't get you any play on left wing media. That doesn't get you any of that ESG D I E money. And so he does the stupid shit. So there he goes. Quote, I wanted our team to be younger, inspirational. A 25 year old who's a sub pilot or a platform operator or one of our techs can't be inspirational, but not with one of those fucking white dudes, white dudes. Well, I say rescue the three, figure out how to do this. Maybe rescue the three other people and leave him down there. Because I have a feeling that the people, if they make it to the sub to save it, will probably be ex-military, ex-navy, 50 plus year old white dudes doing it. Just, Just based off of, oh, I don't know, statistics. But he doesn't want your help. So leave him the fuck down there, but take the other ones out. All right, guys. He can he can wait he can wait for the young, hip black lesbian scientist to come save him. I guess since he cares so much about stupid shit like that. What an insane world to live in. All right, guys. Thanks so much for watching the video. Support channel. If you want to be kept up to date with Wokenomics, most likely going to kill these people. They they running out of air. Hit that subscribe button and make way because the salt must flow.